So this website is very simple. Um, it was built for computers, Windows or Mac, it doesn't matter. Um, you can still use your phone or your tablet, but I would advise you to use a computer to create your predictions. So once you log in to the website, you can go to your group. You can click uh, create prediction and you can start creating your predictions. So the results have to be entered one by one, like one and confirm. Three new, new guys great team. Um, Egypt, it's a lot in Russia for sure, it doesn't matter if they're the hosts. And as you can see, as you confirm your games, the results, the table here is changing. So if I say, so far they played two games, all of them. So Uruguay 4-1 Russia. You see that Uruguay now played three games, won three games. And they scored 10 goals. They conceived one goal, so they have a nine goals different and nine points, three points for each game. And Saudi Arabia, one, Egypt, two, confirm. Once the group is complete, you'll see the green teams are the ones going to the next phase. So Uruguay is first, Egypt is second. And if you scroll down to the round of 16, you see Uruguay is there, Egypt's there, and they're waiting for the other uh, countries to join them. So I will skip through uh, groups B all the way to G and see you again on group H. And here we are, group H, the last group of the group phases, and you can see only two teams are missing for the round of 16, and we are going to fix that now. Colombia wins against Japan, maybe, who knows, Poland, absolutely, and Japan is going to win against Senegal, and this is a tough one. I'm just going to put them a draw and uh, Japan can't really move very really much and Colombia is going to win against Senegal so Poland and Colombia will go through so now our round of 16 is all filled up and now we can't have draws, so that's why we have the yellow boxes, therefore penalty shootouts. Uh, the penalty shootouts will not count any points in your predictions, um, but we need a winner to go through. So if you say Uruguay wins against Spain, you get your points, you don't have to fill up the yellow ones. If you say Peru had a hard time against Iceland, now we need a winner because that goes to penalty shootouts. So Peru is going to win. And these numbers in the yellow boxes don't really matter as long as one team wins over the other. So if there's a draw in normal time, that will give you the points. If you get to draw one to one, like in this case, you get more points. But the penalty shootout is just to decide who goes through to the next phase. Here again, normal time, 3-3, three, three. so we need to pick one to go through. So if they finish in a draw, you get your points, but we still need a team to go through. So let's say 
Argentina goes through. That could be a four, or that could be even eight to seven, because it's penalty shootouts until someone misses. They both keep going. So now that we've filled our um, round of 16 matches, we have the quarterfinals all ready to go. Oh, actually, there's one missing. We forgot Brazil and Sweden. That's why you can't see th this team. So let's say Brazil wins 3-2, lacking 1994. Confirm. And now we have all the games ready for the quarterfinals. So here we go. Uruguay, Wingers, Peru. And because I'm Brazilian, even though I don't really support the Brazilian team, let's say Brazil really wins against Belgium, big time. And Germany against Poland. And Portugal and Argentina draw 2-2. And then Portugal wins in the penalty shootouts just so we have a team to go through. And now Uruguay loses to Brazil. And Germany is, just for the fun of it, let's say Germany loses to Portugal. We never had a Brazil and Portugal final. Now we have the two last matches to fill up the final and the match for the third place. The match for the third place will not count for any points in your predictions, but it's good to fill up. You'll, you have to, otherwise your prediction will not be complete. So let's say Uruguay wins against Germany because it's more important for them than for Germany to be third. And Brazil has a 2-1 win against Portugal and our champion is Brazil and that is all filled up if you have any problems during the group stages let's say for some reason there was an error and you have a team with four matches uh, all you have to do to fix that it's confirm the two first matches again so you click confirm for the first match and confirm for the second match and that should fix your group stages. You have to check your group stage. If you change your results from the group stage, you will have to redo the whole round of 16 quarterfinals and semifinals and finals because the team the teams will change. And that's it. Good luck. <laughs>